Hi, I'm Scott Dunn, and thanks for joining me today. Today what I've got going on is I'm building a slab for this water tank over here. That's a 1,500 gallon water tank, and it's to catch rainwater off of a roof that has a, a new drain catchment, a rain gutter. So I'm going to catch rainwater and hopefully store it in this tank. California is going through a drought right now, so my local water agency has sort of cut back on the amount of water each uh, connection water meter is allowed down to 125 gallons per day. So everybody in town is doing their part, but uh, we have a garden and we've got to keep the plants going. So, you know, I'm hoping to catch rainwater. If not, I might have to get water deliveries. It's just the nature of the beast. Um, got to have water. Water is super important. So that's what I'm up to today. I've done a little concrete work before. And in fact, if you watched any of my other videos, you'll see uh, one video I have how to pour concrete into a sauna tube using another sauna tube and I feel like I've gotten some really good experience working with concrete even though I've only done it twice so I let me show you this I've got a uh, little area set up here and this is where the tank is going to be going um, I framed it out it's eight feet by eight feet the tank is seven and a half feet diameter so this is going to be perfect I have uh, compacted gravel and I'm going to be pouring a slab that's about three inches thick. Um, so yep, that's what I'm up to today and thanks for joining me and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe I sure would appreciate it. Alright so let's get the show on the road here. So what's important and I've learned is I'm using 80 pound bags of concrete and for each 80 pound bag it's nearly one gallon of water so in this mixer right here it can easily hold two 80 pound bags any more than that doesn't work so i'm going to be putting two bags in there uh partially sort of in stages and adding water and here's my five gallon bucket up in here i've met, marked it into uh, gallon increments so i'm going to fill this bucket preload it with two gallons of water I'm going to be adding that as uh, I begin the mix process. So I found what works for me best is I can't lift the 80 pound bag and dump it in the hopper here. So I fill it partially in this bucket and dump this bucket in the hopper here. Tilt this thing over, it starts to mix. Right now it's mostly water. You can hear that thing start to really work out now. It's getting a workout, that's what I meant. Alright, two bags so far. 
behind the scenes now. I thought it was going to be easier than this. Hey, I'm back again, and uh, today I'm going to be moving this uh, 1,500 gallon water tank uh, onto the slab that I just finished building. It's cured now. It's been almost a week since I poured the, the concrete in the form. It's nice and hard now. It's cured 100%. And um, right now this tank, once I set it up on the slab, I'm going to be able to plumb it up and then well, hope for rain, but there's no rain in the forecast, so I may end up having to order some water to fill the tank and just get us through the summer. So, and I'm just sharing with you my process. So, um, the slab, eight by eight, the tank is almost seven and a half feet in diameter, 1,500 gallons, and each uh, gallon of water weighs a little over eight pounds. 
So we're looking at easily 12,000 pounds of water if that tank is full. So 12,000 pounds, that's six, six and a half tons. So, you know, that slab's not going anywhere. I built it nice and strong. It's super thick. It's uh, extra strong concrete, so it should be fine. So I'm going to set up some boards. Tank's pretty light, and I'm just going to slide it into place. So that's what I'm up to right now. But before we put the tank on, let's go over here and take a quick look at the slab. You can see where I formed it out. And uh, I wish I gave a little bit more detail before, but it's just dug fir, two by six. And then, um, you know, I used building stakes to hold it in place and nice and level before I started mixing and pouring the concrete. So, almost there. Something like that, I think. cake so the tank is now on the slab just have to rotate it into the right position I'll have a outlet down there that's where the roof gutter system is gonna fill and then hopefully once it's all plumbed up that's exactly when the rains gonna start so thanks for watching so give it a like subscribe and uh, come back again soon. Thanks.